Hello, I'm today making some rather special doorknob spindles. These are made from some threaded bar. This is an M10 by 1.5 pitch threaded bar. I'm putting a flat on all four sides to create a square section, which hopefully you can see here. Okay, the machine behind me is a Tom Senior milling machine, and I've got a three jaw chuck mounted on a dividing head and that's mounted in a horizontal position on the carriageway. At the other end is a V block which supports the far end. Okay, so look, V block here, chuck indexing head, I've actually got it on a, an angle plate here. Okay, I'm going to put a blank in, set it up running, and um, you can see in action. Okay. I'm actually going to put a cloth over the chuck here because all the uh, shavings that uh, come off get all over the um, indexing bar, the clamps and what have you. Um, and of course you don't want to get your fingers uh, on that. So by putting a cloth over it just uh, means that obviously it's covered. Okay, right here we go. I'm winding up to the job, engaging the power feed. Where we go. I've stopped the video now and we'll fast forward to um, when I actually index the spindle and take it through 90 degrees. Okay, it's done a pass now and uh, the power feed's been knocked off, so I'm just going to move the carriageway back and I'll turn that motion so you can hear me. I now need to rotate the indexing head through 90 degrees and then we can perform another pass. So let's get that set up. So eight, nine, lock it in, clamps on, cloth over. Oh we up and power feed on. Um, so we'll do another pass. Of course we'll do four of them in total to get the square back. I hope that was of some interest. <laughs> 